Hello, hello, hello. Here we are. Episode 103 on the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Joy Ravella, and just loving the community we have. It's just like amazing. I think people are so kind to each other and supporting each other over on the Facebook page. So if you want to be a part of the group, you can send through a request. I can only accept people who have answered the two very simple questions. Um, So maybe you have sent through a request, but you haven't answered the two questions. Just make sure you go back and answer those questions and then it will automatically let you in. Julie commented on the page. She said, hi team, just letting you know, I am binging the episodes while I'm at work. I may not be giving it my full attention, but trust me, stuff will get into my brain. (laughs) And I so agree there, Julie. Like the beauty of having God's word spoken into your life is sometimes someone like directly speaks it into your life. Sometimes you read it. Sometimes it's just in the background, but it doesn't take away from the power of it. Things stick. The Holy Spirit works in really powerful ways. So I'm so glad that you can binge listen to now 103 episodes. (laughs) Right now, though, let's get into today's Bible verse. Psalm 37:21, the CEV version. An evil person borrows and never pays back. A good person is generous and never stops giving. I've got the amazing Jen here with me in studio. And if you are part of our exclusive Ooh. Facebook group, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm saying, Jen, your hair looks fabulous. Oh, thank you. I feel fab. Yeah. So like, so tell me a little bit about your hair because it's unconventional for you to like, because <laughs> naturally your hair is jet black, yes. right? And right now you're sitting here with beautiful, like okay, you explain the colors. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, it's a... It's not an ashy blonde. It's more a blonde, like a golden blonde with pink right underneath. So the top layer is all blonde and the bottom layer underneath is pink. So it's so much fun. It looks so good. Hey, make sure you do check out the picture that's on our exclusive Facebook page. If you want to be a part of it, it actually launched just a few days ago for the 100th episode. Mm -hmm. Um, If you love listening to the Everyday Joy podcast, if you love the community and you want to see Jen's fabulous hair, Mm -hmm. the link is in the description (laughs) below. Um, Today we're taking a look at Psalm 3721. And Jen, I mean, we've heard your stories as a mum, we've heard your stories as a wife, but today we're going to open up your accountant (laughs) chapter. (laughs) Jen, the accountant, is wrapping up our Friday. This one says, an evil person borrows and never pays back. A good person is generous and never stops giving. So accountant chats today. Um, <laughs> fun. What, <laughs> what, what, it will be fun, trust me. Yes. <laughs> um, what are your first impressions of this one? Mm-hmm. Well, my first thought was a question. So do I owe money to anyone? Like I'm a person who usually pays someone back right away. Um, and because I don't want the other person to think I'm not reliable. Mm. And I don't. And according to this verse, an evil person. I don't want to be evil, please. Um, so, gosh, I really hope I don't owe anyone anything. Honestly, yeah, that's a really good observation. Um, do I owe anyone mm. other than the bank? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's a good question, though, to ask yourself, because sometimes you just forget. And I think you don't realize how much it means to someone else that you give back. And I've got a story that I'll share a little bit later about that. Um, But what does this verse tell you, Jen, about who God is or what matters to him? Yep. He really wants us to be an honest and generous person. Like he doesn't want us to not give. He wants us to be wise about it. And it's not necessary money. It's also it could be about time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just, um, it really comes back to, for me anyway, who God wants us to be. It's not so Mm. much about the money, the dollars and cents, as we've talked about last week's episodes with Jo when we were talking about generosity. I mean, at the heart of it, it's just a way in which we can honor and worship God. Mm -hmm. Um, The way we use time, the way we use money, the way we treat others ultimately reflects what we believe and how we serve God. Yes. So for me, Jen, I alluded a little bit earlier to um, a story in my life mm-hmm. around this verse, and I'll share this one very quickly. I'm not proud of this, um, but I, oh man, this hangs over me, and it's been over a decade. Wow. Uh, but I was about 18 years old. Mm-hmm. 
I decided that I wanted to take up singing lessons. Oh, yeah. fun. And I was super excited about this. And so I drove to this lady's home and she was a professional singing tutor. She had like these uh, demo CDs, these practice CDs and everything. And so she said to me, uh, you, know, you know, are you interested in signing up? And I said, yes, count me in. I said, but I, I don't really have the cash on me mm. now the first lesson was free she said that's fine um next time you come you can start your payment but to get you started i'll give you these uh, practice cds that you can practice along with yeah so she gave me these cds these resources and as she was giving them to me she said please take care of these don't share them with anyone these are things i've worked really hard to create wow. and i said yeah sure absolutely yeah. Unfortunately, a couple of days later, I had a bit of a car breakdown situation. Yeah, it wasn't great. Mm -hmm. And so I was I was getting lifts here and there. So I had to cancel the class. And then, you know, the cost to <laughs> get the car fixed up, you know, uh. was like, oh, I don't know if I can do these classes anymore. And so I flaked. I didn't really say to her, I'm going to cancel these lessons. Yeah. I kind of just like left her hanging and I'm not proud of that. Yeah. Um, I got a text message from her about two months later and it was quite it was quite a strongly worded message you know yeah. and it really helped me understand taught me a really difficult life lesson she said hi you gave me your word that you were going to sign up for these singing lessons I haven't heard from you and you've got some resources of mine that cost me a lot of money to make if you aren't able to do these classes could you at the very least return these yeah and oh my goodness those words just right in my heart yeah because for me I was doing life I was busy in my mind I had all these reasons as to why I um, didn't get back to her I guess I was just so caught up in my own world I didn't mm. stop to think the impact of me not paying for something I'd promised to pay for the impact of me not living up to my word yeah. the impact of me taking resources that were given to me in good faith I didn't think about how that would impact her. Yeah. And it was only like, even now I, I think about it and I thought, man, she would have been starting a new business. Mm. She would have been in the very early stages of that. And I, yeah, yeah. I remember returning the CDs, popping it in her mailbox and writing a little note and oh. saying, I'm so sorry. Um, I really hope that you can forgive me. Um, and I have to say, you know, the worst thing of all of this, mm. Jen, was when I did my first free lesson with her, she asked me, what kind of song would you like to practice? And I said, I'm a Christian, so yeah. I really want to learn worship songs. Mm. And my actions following that yeah. were not a good representation at all. Like, I'm, like, my cheeks are burning as I'm thinking about this because it really was me just not caring yeah. enough about something that really should have mattered yeah. more. And so that's sort of my my learning life experience of this verse. And now I just try to pay people back as quickly as possible because I represent God yeah. in what I do. So do you keep in touch? Like, have you been in touch with her ever since? I don't even remember her name. Yeah, because that's the whole money aspect and the trust aspect that is in repaying your debts is you end up breaking up like you know the trust that you have with this person mm. or even that relationship will be tarnished and that that's what it sounds like yeah yeah and well I never went for singing lessons I just felt like I couldn't show my face really yeah. from your perspective as being an accountant mm -hmm. um and you'd probably have a different set of eyes on this verse Psalm thirty seven twenty one: an evil person borrows and never pays back a good person is generous and never stops giving mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts on the link between trust and paying people back and do you have a story of how that's played out in your experience um, pretty much every day in an accounting life um, chasing debt is never a fun aspect because it kind of puts like a black mark against someone's name mm. and being a Christian you try not to do that but we got to think professionally we got to think this is a business and in a accounting professional world if you don't pay someone back you have that black stripe next to your name that they may not deal with you anymore business wise mm. um, they may even take you to court and that's never a nice experience no, either yeah. and that will cost more money but at the end of the day this is what will tarnish 
a relationship, and it's going to be on the back of their mind saying, you know, I'm not going to deal with this person anymore. And you start cutting off people in your life. You start cutting off business links in your life. And that's not what God wants. Mm. God wants us to have a relationship with everyone. Mm. So what if someone's listening right now and they're like, oh, my goodness, I probably have a black strike next to my name. What is something that they can do to restore their reputation? Mm -hmm. Um, Or maybe not even that. Maybe this is just something that they've never considered before. And they're like, oh, my goodness, like I never realized this is what goes on behind the scenes. Mm. What would be your thought um, or action point for them? Yeah, I definitely will go back to the person that you owed the money. I mean, probably you owed that money. Mm. There was an agreement that you'll pay back. Yeah. So go back to the person and actually be truthful about it. Say, I forgot or I didn't have the money and I was too embarrassed. We're all human beings. Like we understand that we're going to make mistakes, that we are very forgetful. Mm. And God knows that with us too. I mean, that's the way that he's designed us to be. But God wants us to learn from each and one of these mistakes is stop, go back, apologize, stand up, even though you're embarrassed. God wants you to repay your debts. And it's so incredibly important for that. As we wrap up today's episode, I do want to touch on what I think is the heart of today's conversation, as often as uh, the heart of most conversations we have on the podcast. We are representatives of Jesus. And if you call yourself a Jesus follower, we are called to a higher account. And so that does mean paying someone back. It can be for little things. It can be for big things. But if there's an agreement or an expectation that you would provide a certain amount of money for a service or good, live up to it. I mean, from someone who knows what it feels like to just be on the other side of not doing that and really regretting that, um, go ahead and send that text message, try build the bridge, pay back what you owe and invite God into it. In fact, if you are feeling really nervous and anxious about all of that, talk to God about it. Maybe for you, it's not that simple. You don't have the finances or you can't contact that person for a variety of means. Hey, I'd really encourage you to just invite a trusted friend onto the journey. Share this podcast episode with them. Have a little chat over the phone because at the end of the day, if something is sort of poking at an area in your heart, it's probably God nudging you towards a course of action. As always, a really good way to start is to pray. Well, that wraps up today's episode on the Everyday Joy podcast. I look forward to catching up again next week. And if you can't wait and you want to be part of the community, you want to get some more good stuff into your life, hey, the link to the exclusive Everyday Joy Facebook community is in the description below. Don't forget to leave a written five-star review. Share this episode with your friends and family, especially because I think this is something we really do need to focus more on, paying back our debt. It's not something we want to talk about, but something that is so crucial. I'll catch up with you next week.